What's up, Gundam Kitchen family? Got a small shipment in today, which is more of a preview shipment because we just got a few of these new things in. We'll definitely be getting more over the next week or two. But interesting stuff. So from the Mandalorian, we got the Razor Crest. We have it in standard. So this nice gray, really nice metallic. Can't complain about this at all. Swirls are there, but there's so many panel lines in it, it breaks it up. Don't we notice it? So really nice there. Something like this, all I need is like a pin wash. Maybe you could do a gunk wash if you wanted to. Uh, of course, you could go crazy and distress it like it gets uh, beat up in the show. But if you want straight out the factory, they also have a silver coating, which is crazy nice. If you like that factory look. Just a little bit of stickers. It's pretty small. The kit actually is not too bad. It's like two runners. Nice little kit. A little project keep it busy. And then you got the Mandalorian himself. So again, just standard metallic colors look really good. Actually, I'm torn between which one I think looks better. The standard color or this silver, which again, looks like it was freshly made. So either one, I think is a winner. A really nice detail. They've done a nice job with these uh, kits from the Star Wars line so far, and this looks like another winner. And then moving on into the 30 minute missions, new colorway for a Porta Nova space type. Colors are a little, or actually toned down more than they are here. Very bright here, a little bit toned down. So if you're gonna repaint them, I think this is a really nice colorway, especially as bright as it is. These colors are a little muddled. Purple, kind of dull. But I understand when they did that, it's more of a military look. And then we have one of the newer ones more of a feminine structure. Uh, similar purple might be a little lighter though. Yeah, I think that's a little lighter. Let's see if I call it right. Yeah, there's definitely a shade difference there. Two new 30 minute missions. We also got uh, a vehicle for them. This one wheel contraption here. We also got uh, some option parts. So it gives her wings. And a new crest for the helmet. And then, this is interesting coming out Bandai, T-Rex. So basically, you can build your skeleton version of a T-Rex. Not sure how poseable this is. Has a very nice stand. Uh, what I like here is when they start doing a little painting to it. Looks like they're using those uh, weathering pencils from Mr. Hobby or AK type. I think they're the Mr. Hobby ones. They've got the Gundam Real Touch markers. I just did a video on those. So using a combination of those to give you that nice effect that looks much more like in a museum. But it comes in this brown color, not too bad. Just feel like uh, usually seem a little brighter than that. Not bone color, but definitely brighter than this. So you're actually just highlighting this up to the color you want. Dry brush, whatever. And then look at this nice uh, base to it. You got the trees and all this detail in it, some logs. Actually, those are the trees, those are ferns. And then, from this very weird show that, uh, I guess Bandai Sunrise put together, it's on YouTube, uh, live action, with some CG going on, and basically high school girl, school, and they fight each other with these guns and potentially kill each other? I only watched like an episode and a half. I don't think they're really dead. But the guns themselves are actually characters too. And it's very interesting. 
different. But this kit is got the brightness. Look at that orange. I don't think I've seen a color pop like that in a while. And then against that dark blue, it looks really good. And there's a good amount of orange too, so a lot of her, uh, her suit is orange, her gloves are orange. Got a decent amount of decals, but a majority of those are the eyes. So a lot of eyes options there. Uh, flesh looks good. Just a really nice bright colored kit. And then, looking through some uh, restock so that Mark 6 came back in. Got Duke Mon, that was hot. Wore Gray Mon. Got a one piece ship. Got a, so we, yeah, we got a decent amount of Digimon, which has been doing really well. People love the Digimon. And then, these two. These RGs right here changed the game. RGs are, yeah, and they just stepped the whole game up. So now they build like master grades and they are phenomenal. And these two are definitely that turning point. Got that uh, Narrative and Andrew Stein. Calamity Gundam. Very nice. Uh, well, it used to be RE line, but now it's full mechanics. But a lot of good detail in a 100 Price kind of high, like an MG price range, but there it's a big kit and there's a lot going on, a lot of good panel lines. Heavy Arms, Epion, and Def Scythe, Instant Classics, of course. And then a nice selection of water slides got back in. These are the Bandai ones. We should have some third party water slides coming in a day or two as well. So look out for the water slide game, should be good. Uh, there's one I really like here. Oh, this Bill Fighters one. If you just want some interest in, I mean, if you have Bill Fighters ones, these work perfect. But if you want some just interest in random logos, this one's cool. And. Of course, this, uh, I've had this one in before. This double O one. Like the bears are hilarious. Those are the bear guys right there. Got the Xeon. We got, uh, what's this one? A double O 80. Just good stuff. Zaku's. Uh, this is like a Federation. Yep, Federation one with a bunch of numbers. The Xeon one. Uh, I think that was the symbol from the Zuda. That would have been nice to have in a water slide. Uh, another Xeon one. Uh, Gundam Seed. That wolf's pretty cool. These are one one hundred. Another Xeon one. <laughs> a lot of love to Xeon here. I really love the uh, the girls like they used to do on the World War II uh, planes. So that's a cool idea. Bunch of crust. We call that pinup art, I think. And what do we got here? Federation one. So this is a nice Fetty one. So yeah, definitely if you're into the water size, want to step your decaling game up, this is the route. All right, I will talk to you guys later and look for another shipment hopefully tomorrow. Peace.